in Paris right now and we're on our way to the train. And we're going to Amsterdam today. And it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, my girl. Thanks for being my mother. I'm really excited. I've never been to Amsterdam. And we're staying there tonight and tomorrow night. So it's gonna be fun. And I wanna smoke a lot of weed. With my brother. Yeah, I think there's a bed, so and then there's, cool. there's a bed upstairs. Oh, it's so cute. How cute. Oh my god, this hotel is so adorable. Oh my god, how cute is this freaking hotel? It's so cute. We made it to Amsterdam. And now we're gonna go explore and eat. So I'm so hungry. Our hotel is so cute. And now we're gonna explore because we're only here for one day and then we go back to Paris. I'm so excited! We made it to a restaurant. We're at O'Reilly's Irish Pub. I love it here so far. They're really hot men in Amsterdam. And I'm thinking about moving here. We got beer. It's fine, but it's not. It's not like I really my go-to. It's coffee. It's coffee. Yeah. It's coffee. Beer is hoppy. Have you ever heard that before? It's like the, the aftertaste that you're tasting. It's hops. Then you know? You know what? Like it's hopping around? I hope you guys like it. How do you explain hops and hoppy? I said it's very hoppy. Hoppy? Yeah. I think you made, she made it up. I swear I thought that's a thing. We'll teach me. I don't know about that. You don't like it? No, it's like fine. She just said it's hoppy. I, I don't know that. Me neither. I'm trying to understand. Hops is like what's in Wait, can I see that? You what is a hoppy beer? I'm just curious. A hoppy beer showcases the hop flavor and aroma of the hops. <laughs> okay? It's hoppy? I think it's hoppy. It's hoppy. That's what we have come to the conclusion of. You tell us know if it's hoppy. I think it's hoppy. <laughs> That's a yeah. hoppy beer. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it is good actually. Like, does that mean that the flavor is just very like yeah. distinct? Yeah, it like okay. yeah. Okay. Like well, then you know what? Left? You're right. You know what? Yeah. It's extremely hoppy because it is a very like it's like a very distinct taste. First, we have a bowl. I don't know what's in it, but it's good. It's like some brown stuff with mustard. Pretty good. This one is very good. I like this one better. We just finished at dinner, and now our mission of the night is to find weed. They have coffee shops here that are actual marijuana shops. They don't sell coffee, they just sell weed, which two of my favorite things, honestly, combined. So we're gonna try to find one right now, but it is a little late, it's 10.30. Seven minute walk, it's open. One in the morning, thank you. All right, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're in Amsterdam, we need to smoke weed. That's just like necessary. We're in Mike Tyson's weed shop right now. We didn't even realize. Then we got a motherfucking joint. Okay, update on the coffee shops. They're even better than I imagined because you can literally sit in there, order coffee, and smoke. Like they sell weed and coffee. And you just sit there and fucking can smoke and drink the coffee at the same time. That's such a vibe. But we got the weed to go. And I liked it a lot. It was kind of way more chill than dispensaries in the States. I feel like dispensaries in the States are kind of like so serious. That was just so chill. Literally a coffee shop. We literally got a Cali joint, but I'm excited. Can't believe this. It's like weed. Good morning. 
morning. We're in Amsterdam. Clearly, no shit, hello. Um, we woke up kind of late this morning. It is 11.47. We just quickly like got ready and stuff. I need coffee really bad, but we're in Amsterdam. It's our only full day here. And then we go back to Paris tomorrow morning. But we're gonna explore today, I'm excited. I'm wearing this from Princess Polly. How about you, girl? Mm -hmm. She's not, Michelle's not feeling good. Michelle threw up. Michelle threw up. <laughs> all over everybody. Michelle threw up all over me last night. Was it just you? Yes. Oh, thank God, though. <laughs> I'm yeah. not eating anything fucking creamy today. She's lactose intolerant and ate a shit ton of cream yesterday and then threw up on me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. When I was high on Amsterdam weed. Good day. <laughs> That was my warm welcome to Amsterdam. I've never been thrown up on, so <coughs> my first time, I'll never forget it <laughs> in Amsterdam. <laughs> so cute they have a bunch of tulip seeds and tulip things i'm gonna get these magnets <laughs> this is her personal hell oh well it sure smells like cheese in here yeah this is kind of like my heaven this is like what the gates to heaven are gonna look like for me if i make it there Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> That's pretty good cheese. Mm. That's really good. That is really good. I kind of want to try there's a truffle in there. This cheese is so good. Highly recommend this cheese store. That was so good, but I, we did not buy anything. But that was so yummy. I love the cheese museum. We heard that the nine streets were good for shopping, so we're kind of just walking around, but we stumbled upon this little like, I'll show you. There's all these little like booths and stands and stuff. Pretty cool. We're just looking around. They're good. Exciting as I, I feel like it'd be exciting if we got like a bunch of shit on it. What did your mom get? I'm kind of curious about her it's truffle. We got some fries and they're very good. I got cheese fries and she got truffle, what is it? Truffle, truffle, truffle mayo? Or no, truffle, yeah, truffle mayo. Truffle mayo. They're so good. She is in real, heaven. It's not real mayonnaise though. It's not? What is no. it? Oh, some vegan shit. Oh, what? vegan mayo? Some vegan it's shit. Truffle, it's truffle um, mayo? They're actually so good. Hers are really, really good. Fries were created in Belgium. And the reason why they call French fries is because Thomas Jefferson went to France and had French fries, had fries in France. And he named them French fries and brought them to the States. So everyone thank Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> she learned that from a man in the fry store. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so good. We're in heaven back They're here. really Belgium fries, not French fries. Belgium fries. Belgium waffles. Uh -huh. Belgium is just killing it. <laughs> Belgium. <laughs> Belgium knows what's up. We should stop there on our way back to Paris. I heard that this vintage store is really cool. You don't like it? Or do you? I think it looks cool. We just went to that store zipper. I heard like really good things about it. It's like a thrift shop but I didn't get anything because I feel like that's the kind of store I would need to spend literally hours like looking through everything. But we have to go because we have a boat tour through the canals. So we have to go over there, but it was really cool. And I actually found really good stuff that I'll show you later. I had an old time soul. Baby, we were kissing for the whole ride home. Wishes it was all night long. You told me you loved me, and I sang this song. I sang this song. I had an old time soul. Baby, we were kissing for the whole ride home. Laying, making wishes it was all night. We just 
got done with the boat tour and we came back to the hotel really quick to just put all of our stuff down and now we're going to the Anne Frank house which I'm really excited to see. I think it's going to be very cool. So we left the Anne Frank house and it was so cool to see. I feel like I learned more walking through that than I ever have in school and it was unreal. Like, I don't know, it was just like, it was very, very interesting to see and I'm glad that we did that. Um, we could not film in there. So I took some random videos. I don't even know what I took videos of, but I had to run back to the hotel right now and just turn in a brand deal. And now we're gonna go and meet everyone else for dinner at a restaurant called The Duchess. It looked fancy and good, so that's where dinner is. <laughs> it's freezing! I love Amsterdam. It's my new favorite place. I'm gonna move here. Oh God. <laughs> I Guys, we were going to the restaurant. it's raining in Amsterdam. I'm, 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 I, I'm sorry, they don't know how to walk straight. We just finished eating apple pie at Winkle 43. It was very good. It's midnight right now. Also, dinner was so good. That was the best cacio e pepe I've ever had in my entire life. I am not kidding. That was so good. But now we're walking to another coffee shop. This one's called Amnesia Coffee Shop. Let's pull it. back to Paris from Amsterdam this morning and before I end the Amsterdam vlog I wanted to show you guys what I bought while in Amsterdam because I found some really cute pieces and I really want to show you. First things first I got this jacket from the flea market thingy situation that we went to and this was only $35. I feel like if I got this at like the Melrose trading post it would have been like 200 so I love it. I think it's so cute and a good find and i don't have any jackets this color so i really like it I actually think i'm gonna wear it today with this we went to a tulip museum shop because they have like the tulip fields in amsterdam and they had this cute little tulip shop so i got some things there it's so pretty i think i'm gonna put it in my hallway frame it with a gold frame just a bunch of tulips or not even i think just a bunch of flowers so cute and then i got some cute magnets for my fridge because i decided that i want to start putting magnets on my fridge so i got cute flower ones these also remind me of my grandma because her favorite flower was a tulip so and then i also got this postcard that's like a puzzle this really reminded me of my grandma because she loves puzzles and tulips and has a butterfly on it and she also loved those and I think I'm gonna frame the puzzle and like take out a couple of the puzzle pieces and make it like look like it's a puzzle. I don't know. I thought it was really cool. And then lastly, this is probably my favorite thing I got. We were walking around shopping in random little shops and we walked past this vintage shop. So apparently Amsterdam is just known for their vintage shopping. Oh wait, I also forgot. I got a necklace that I'm wearing. But yeah, so there was like a ton of vintage shops. I wish that I had more time to just go through all of the shops because they were so cool and i definitely want to go back to amsterdam also i loved it there and it was so beautiful and really cool i just loved it a lot but i got this vintage dior bag from the 70s it's so cute i'm obsessed with it i think i'm gonna wear this today too the inside is really cool I like how you can see the Dior print on the bottom, but I like it a lot and I really like how it looks on. It's so cute. 
I love it. And then lastly, I got this necklace from a vintage jewelry store, which I thought was cool. I got this little heart. And I think it's really pretty. With that all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the Amsterdam vlog. If you guys missed the Paris vlog, I think it's going to be up before this or after it. I'm not really sure. I think before, but I loved Amsterdam so much. I got a few messages that some of you guys are from Amsterdam. I'm very jealous because... It was just so cool and beautiful and amazing and I want to come back. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I love you all so much and I'll talk to you in the next one.